With Hurricane Dorian creeping closer to the U.S. coast, people are either planning to ride it out or get out of the way. News outlets in Florida are reporting some gas stations are already running out of fuel. Abby Dodge joins us live at KCI with a look at flights out of Florida this morning. And Abby, are, are any being impacted? Not so far. We're live at KCI this morning, and these flight boards are showing a different story than what you'd expect ahead of a Category 5 hurricane headed towards the U.S. All the flights for major cities in Florida to and from KCI this morning are on time. People down in the Sunshine State were struggling to find a way out over the weekend. Some travelers told our sister stations about their efforts to get out of Dorian's path. Obviously, the projections kept changing, so we originally went to, well, we were originally going to come back Monday. Mm -hmm. We changed it to Tuesday, then we changed it to Sunday, and then we changed it to earlier Sunday. I mean, we were, we've been following the storm for a while. It's been, you know, it's, it's an aggressive storm, and we were worried. We've been watching these boards roll over all morning, and as you can see, this flight from Orlando at 1045 is on time. We've got some earlier in the morning to around 640. Those are all on time as well. We're going to keep checking on these boards and keep our eye on those flights to and from Florida all morning, and I'll be back in 30 minutes with an update for you on those. Live at KCI, Abby Dodge, KCTV5 News. Yeah, and Abby, I actually just checked the, the site FlightAware, and already over 600 flights are canceled today because of Hurricane Dorian. So to see if your flight is impacted today and to track the storm from your phone, just download the KCTV5 mobile app.